My name is Owen Hemsouth and I am a stage four cancer patient. When the doctors diagnosed me, they told me there was absolutely nothing that they could do. They gave me two years to live and they sent me home to die. I chose not to believe them. And instead, I began to research alternative cancer therapies, which are called metabolic cancer therapies. And in the first three months of metabolic therapy, I shrunk my tumors 30%. Now in today's video, I'm going to outline the seven best books that you need to get right now. Some of them on Audible, some of them I'm going to recommend you get the physical book but we're gonna put links to all of this stuff in the description box below. Today is a very meaty, meaty video, but I hope that it, it changes everything for you. Let's get started. So I wanna get started with How to Starve Cancer. This is a book by Jane McClellan and she beat cancer twice. In this book, you will learn all about cancer pathways. So Jane McClellan's a real person. And in this book, she's gonna talk about how her doctors told her that she was like hopeless, but she went and discovered uh, all about cancer metabolic pathways and how cancer cells eat. And then she discovered the natural and the pharmaceutical solutions for starving those cancer cells. Now, this book is especially meaningful to me because it was the first book that I ever got. I bought it right after my diagnosis and I was still in a place of total darkness. In the first couple of pages of the book, Jane invites you to her Facebook group and that Facebook group, revolutionary because that group is filled with people that are surviving and beating all sorts of cancers. They even have a tab in their Facebook group called Positive Progress, and you can go look up your cancer and find three, four, five, six, seven people who have all survived that cancer. Now, this is a big, hefty book, and if you wanna get the condensed version, I recommend you buy her course. It's called How to Starve Cancer, and I put a link to it in the description box below. I also recommend getting the book and using it as a handy reference. The next book I wanna to talk to you about is called Radical Remission and it's by Dr. Kelly Turner, who is a PhD. Now, Kelly Turner went to school to study oncology and become a cancer doctor. But along the way, what she learned is that everyone was dying and the people who were living were being gaslit by the hospitals. They were called spontaneous remissions. And they weren't giving any, it was like these, it was a fluke, right? It was just, and that's what my doctors told me when they saw my scan, like it's a fluke, like it's not gonna last forever. Well, Kelly Turner goes, you know, I wanna know how many people are spontaneously healing in hospitals across the world. And so she did this huge study where she interviewed thousands of people who were experiencing remission from cancer. And she found the nine things that they all did and she outlines them in this book called Radical Remission. Now, I bought the book on Audible so I could listen to it over and over and over again because she outlines exactly what survivors did. Prostate cancer, breast cancer, and you see a lot of commonality. So I do all the nine things that she's recommended in this book and I stand before you today asymptomatic and living a very healthy and vibrant lifestyle. I still got some tumors left, don't get me wrong, there's still work to do, but cancer no longer has any power over me. So I recommend that you get Radical Remission on Audible and listen to it every time you're feeling down, every time you're feeling hopeless. I also recommend that you ask your family members to buy this book because I don't know about you, but the moment you say you're gonna do alternative cancer therapy, like people start becoming doctors and oh, I don't know about that, I don't know about that, you know. Get them this book so that they can believe with you and I think that'll be very beneficial for you. The next book I wanna talk about is called How the Body Keeps the Score. And this book is about how your body actually holds on to stress and toxins and can create genetic deformities like mutations because of the stress and the anxiety that you're holding on to, maybe from childhood trauma or maybe from traumatic events that have happened to you in your life. Look, I don't wanna brag, but I've been through a ton of stuff in my life. Car accidents, traumatic breakups. I was neglected by my mom and entered just like a whole life of drug abuse and alcohol abuse for years. And, and you know, I never wanted to be this person that believed that like some trauma from my past could actually be the root cause of my cancer. 
but I was listening to a podcast with Ben Azadi and Dr. Nasha Winters, who's a cancer doctor, and they were talking about all the different studies that have been done, like the Adverse Childhood Experiences Test, the ACE test. Go take that test. I learned that I have enough trauma incidences in my past to put me in a place where I'm statistically more likely to get cancer. I wish I had known that 10 damn years ago. So I got the book called How the Body Keeps the Score and it has really helped me to unpack a lot of where my trauma is in my life and it's giving me a lot of hope that I can overcome it. In fact, I would say that dealing with stress and teaching my body how to let go, you know, cause I'm that type of guy, like the dog got into my trash last night, you know, and I'm, I'm the type a year ago, I would have kicked the dog. I would have been like, rah, 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 like I would have been angry. I would have exploded, but it, I really, I kind of laughed at it and I took a picture of it, you know, and I just thought, you know, that's dog ownership life. And I remember thinking to myself, man, like I've come a long way. You know, I've come a long way and it's it's books like How the Body Keeps the Score. Now, look, I bought this on Audible as well because it's very meaty and I'm driving, you know, enough and listening to podcasts, working out enough to where it does me well. So I didn't get the physical book. I got the Audible book and I think that you should too. I put links to that in the description box below. The next book that I wanna share with you is probably the the superpower book. Like, you know that that part in a movie where they start playing the Rocky music? and you start getting pumped up. You're like, yeah, the Ninja Turtles are gonna win. That's what this book did, did for me. And it's by Dr. Thomas Seyfried, who is a PhD. He's a biochemical geneticist and a scientist at Boston College. Thomas Seyfried is like the man when it comes to cancer as a metabolic disease. Now he's running all sorts of tests on cancer cells and on lab rats and on things like this, okay? So he's probably doing the most up-to-date, in-your-face, like this is how cancer works sort of science in our time today. But what he's talking about in this disease won't be in hospitals or in treatment centers for years. So the value of this book is that you get to hear who this guy is and what he believes about cancer and what he's learning in the scientific tests. This for me, the summary, now he made a whole big book called Cancer as a Metabolic Disease. He literally wrote the book showing us how cancer is not a genetic disease. This is old information. You didn't get it from your grandma. It's not out of your control. It's mitochondrial and mitochondrial health means cancer reversal. So the things that I read in this book, I was able to start living out in my life. For example, he's got a story of a gentleman in Egypt who had terminal horrible body riddled with cancer and they put him on a 1500 calorie diet, which no doctor will will do. The average American is doing 2,500 calories a day. They put this guy on 1,500 calories and then they did intermittent fasting and they did keto and he is cancer free. Now that was done in Egypt. You can't do that in the United States. And so that's the kind of data you're getting from Thomas Seyfried. This guy is a hero and Thomas Seyfried, if you ever watch this video, you're my hero, bro. Like I wish I could have a poster of Thomas Seyfried in my kid's room next to the Michael Jordan picture. You know what I mean? That's how baller this guy is. And so you've got to get this book. Now on the inside cover of the book is actually the podcast on which the book was written. So I'll put the podcast down below so that you can listen to that. This is a great podcast to share with your friends, to teach them the truth about cancer, that keto, that fasting, that vegan diets will reverse this terrible disease, regardless of what cancer you have. Thomas Seyfried said, Every single cancer cell he has ever tested has responded to, keti ke to ketosis and caloric deficits, right? So you can't tell me, oh, well, I have a different kind of cancer, right? Like he's tested it all. Now let's talk about Keto for Cancer. Keto for Cancer is written by Miriam Kalamian and I wrote this as soon as I learned about metabolic diseases, right? And I learned that ketosis, I had no idea what keto was, right? I've heard of the keto diet, but I had no idea what it was. So I heard in this book about the power of a keto diet. And then I found this book, Keto for Cancer by Miriam Kalamian, who lost her son to cancer. And because of that, she's committed her life to educating people and using ketosis 
early on in your cancer diagnosis. So this book outlines in more detail how to actually live a keto diet. She also talks about your protein intake. You know, I, I eat a keto vegan diet. In fact, this is, this is Cavo on my shirt here. This is Cavo. He's the keto vegan cancer killer. He's kind of like the logo behind our, our YouTube channel. But people ask me all the time, how do you get enough protein? And it's really not a smart question because we overeat protein as a civilized nation. So you don't need as much protein and, and cancer eats protein, by the way. So she outlines that process and she gives you a formula for how much protein you should be eating. In fact, I'm gonna put the formula in the description box below just so that you have it. But I highly recommend getting this book. I do not have it on Audible. I bought the physical book because I have outlined and underlined like this. This is a book that you should physically have and keep because there's this is a checklist. You're going to want to like copy stuff out of this and post it on your, you know, your refrigerator. And this is a real textbook for how to live an anti-cancer lifestyle. She recommends an animal-based um, keto. I do a plant-based keto because that's more what my cancer responds to. So, you know, this will help you find and tailor your perfect diet plan. The next book I want to talk about is called The Metabolic Approach to Cancer by Dr. Nasha Winters. And I, I physically have this book and you should physically buy the book because like Miriam Kalimian's book, like Keto for Cancer, the metabolic approach to cancer is meaty and there's stuff you're gonna wanna underline, you're gonna wanna tear pages out and post them on your wall. Now, I left my copy of the book at Dr. Jake's office. That's my doctor. He actually has a YouTube channel where he talks about anti-cancer treatments and the different things that he and I are doing to beat my cancer. So I put his link in the description box below but I want you to physically buy the book, The Metabolic Approach to Cancer. And in this book, Dr. Nasha Winters outlines what she calls the Terrain 10. And these are the 10 hallmarks of cancer and how to create an environment in your body that is harmful to cancer. So in other words, the healthier your terrain, the soil, your body, the less possible it is for cancer to spread. She's very tactical. And there are stats and data in here that will blow your mind in terms of survival rates when it comes to metabolic cancer therapies. She talks about hyperbaric chamber therapy. She talks about intravenous vitamin C. She talks about mistletoe therapy. Are you guys aware of mistletoe therapy? Really phenomenal stuff. So this is a great handbook. And I also think you should follow Dr. Nasha on Instagram. She's very active and she herself was diagnosed with stage four terminal cancer when she was 19 years old. The doctors sent her home to die and you know what happened? She went home in so much pain, she couldn't keep any food down that she stopped eating. She was fasting and she didn't even know it and she began to reverse her cancer. This reversal of her cancer caused her, even as a young person, to go, how is this working? How am? I, how did I beat my cancer? She went back to school and became a doctor. So I love Dr. Nasha Winters. I've got to know her a little bit on Instagram and you're just going to love her. Get this book. Okay, the last book I wanna to talk to you about is called Dirty Genes by Dr. Ben Lynch. Now, Dr. Ben Lynch, first of all, is incredible. He's a naturopathic doctor and he helped educate a lot of the other doctors that we've talked about today. The biggest reason you should read Dirty Genes is because you will learn about epigenetics. And this is directly related to understanding that cancer is a metabolic disease. Okay, because the common thinking on cancer is that cancer is a genetic disease. You get it from your grandmother, right? If you got the BRCA gene, then you're gonna get cancer. Better get a double mastectomy. That is the old way of thinking. What we now know is that in order for genes to mutate, they have to be turned on or turned off, which is a function of mitochondria, specifically mitochondria metabolism. Therefore, cancer is a metabolic disease that can be reversed. Now, this book, Dirty Genes, talks all about epigenetics and how to know what genetic mutations you have. I have, for example, a Muffer mutation, which means my body doesn't detox well. I hold on to toxins. Remember how I told you earlier on that our bodies hold on to stress that can become cancer? Well, now add to that a mutation that my, my body actually won't sweat or I won't sweat out toxins. 
So when I learn that I have a muffer mutation and that I don't detox well, I now know that I need to take supplements, eat foods, and do things like the infrared sauna that will help my body to push toxins out of my body. And this needs to be a regular part of my life. I've started doing that and I am almost cancer free. So in this book, he talks about epigenetics and then he talks about the major types of mutations, the comp mutation, the muffer mutation. And then you can skip ahead in the book and learn about your specific mutations and what you can do to protect against that. Now, I was recently speaking to Dr. Lori Burchard, who has a phenomenal Instagram account. You should definitely follow her. She helps people beat cancer. And part of her curriculum is helping you to identify where your mutations are. So read this book by Ben Lynch and follow these people on social media so that your daily time on Facebook or on Instagram, preferably in YouTube is where I really follow a lot of these people. You're actually filling yourself with news on how you can heal yourself instead of filling yourself with cat memes or like maybe like bad political news. Not, not that those things are bad, but like, I wanted to make my Instagram feed a place where I am only and mostly reading about healthy, vibrant, life-giving things. So I recommend that you follow these people on social media, buy their books. We put links to everything in the description box below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel where I'm gonna be outlining my journey to remission.